Hey guys, welcome back to Contest Prep University. I'm Joe Klimazeski with Adam Atkinson in our fifth and final episode on the series, uh, Contest Day Expectations. What are, what are you going to do that you may think is going to be the magic bullet, the thing that really puts you over the top on Contest Day? Ab and I have been a little bit uh, kind of like Scrooge, I guess, here, taking away some of those, uh, some of those wishes from you. But in reality, you got all the basics, you got all the things that matter. And then the variables that you think, like we've talked about water manipulation, sodium and carbs, tanning, all of that, that you're going to think, man, this is just really going to make me look so much better. You know, maybe, maybe not. You got you to gotta manage them properly. But here's one that's very interesting, Adam. When people get their photos back from stage, they often can't believe it's them, and that can go in either direction. I thought I was way leaner than that. I thought I looked so much better. Or it's that, you know, wow, I really do look way bigger. Since I got so lean, coach, you were right, I, I really did look, look bigger than everybody else. So when you're, when you're navigating from both directions, trying to get somebody to exactly where they need to be, Adam, how do you, how do you push from each side? Yeah, so you, you really do have to almost exceed your expectation in the first place. So make sure you're lean enough. And then, you know, I, I think there's things that can soften you on stage, you know, tan lighting, things like that. Um, so you might need to push just a little further in the direction than you need to be. Um, I literally have a playbook on how certain stages lighting is different. Um, so like, I'll just... Uh, give you guys a pro tip that Pit Pro is way different than a lot of other shows I go to. I bring clients in way differently to that show than I do other shows due to how um, much of a yellow hue that that lighting has. So pro tip and you can figure out the other stages from there. But there are a lot of variables with that. Um, you know, I have a girl right now who has like bigger legs. We know that she's going to look massive in her legs on stage but we can make her look balanced as long as her glutes are full so peaking and being very full in the glutes is just paramount for us because if we are not she can't pose standing straight up she has to bend a bit more to have like the tie-ins um, and with the lack of glutes it just makes her look really leg dominant and well now they have a division for that called wellness so we can't we can't err in that direction at all. So there's, there's a lot of different variables and uh, it, it, it can be very division dependent as well. And just, um, it really does come down to balance and kind of making sure that you're looking at clients from about that stage angle as well. If you can make a good assumption on how much higher they're going to be and so forth. Yeah, the, the one thing that I would start with is just to say, you will never look as good as you think unless you are absolutely as lean as you can be. So like I've said through this series, when you're looking in the mirror at the gym, you're seeing certain things, you know, you're probably still in a tank top or a t-shirt or, you know, some kind of short shorts, but you're not seeing everything that you're going to see on stage. And I, I really hesitate to say that, man, if you are just not your absolute leanest, and as we talked about in the last couple episodes, being at least cautious enough to know you're not spilling over, that's the person that's not going to be happy with the, quote, illusion of what the stage did. If you want the illusion of looking really bigger, more muscular, outsizing people, it's because you are so hard, you are so conditioned that then the illusion really is true. Then you look bigger, especially next to people. Uh, again, I've got, I've got a client who is, uh, I, you know, I have this fear in him that as a heavyweight, you got to worry about these guys coming in 40 or 50 pounds leaner than you, because if they're lean enough, they will look every bit as big as you, but you're going to look like the soft guy who doesn't even match up. Right. Yeah. So one last, uh, one last thing for you, just kind of put a period on the end of the sentence for this whole series, Adam, in terms of the things that we rely on or we, we errantly think that are going to really make the difference on contest day, what do you, what do you say just as, as an entire concept to, to make people focus on the right things? Yeah, as an overall summary, um, be ready before you 
even manipulate all these things in the first place if you choose to. And then if you look at it, a majority of people are already going to be tan. A majority of people are going to be on the same stage as you. So these things that you think are putting you in a better position, everyone else is getting tanned and glazed. Everyone else is going to be on stage. Hopefully you don't cut water. Hopefully you don't cut sodium. But um, be ready before the contest. All right. So circling back all the way to what we began with, exactly uh, as it should be. Focus on the basics first, get all that good stuff in, in terms of how you look. And then the peaking is just, it's all benefit. You know, you're, you're not going to change that dramatic because you already look your best. And now it's just fine tuning to get up there. So thanks, Adam, again, for a great topic idea and rolling through it with us in the audience. And you guys watching and listening, keep sending us ideas as well because we want to tackle some of the things that you're struggling with, some of the questions you have. We'll see you next time in Contest Prep University.